And studio right now is Brian Scala. Brian, good morning. Good morning. Uh, so, what have you learned? You say you have in front of you the blueprints. We were able to track that down, and uh, and after you see it, it, it even becomes even more glaring uh, than what we originally thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, the fence has pretty barbed wire uh, on the top of it. Oh, nice. Uh, and they're plunking it right, right at the entrance of the Marcy Nano site where the loop road begins. Yep, yep. Uh, the loop road that goes around the site is just under 1.6, 1.7 miles that has the whole. And you're really difference. saying, listen, you could this could be placed in other locations uh, on the property. Um, well, the power's for Quad C. Okay. Which is a half a mile, mile east. Right. Next to the uh, Peter Kyan uh, Library. Right. Yeah. Um, so why would you want to put it in front of the region's largest possible project that we're getting for the area? Right, right. Uh, that's like putting this on your front lawn and putting a for sale sign up and yeah, saying, yeah. good luck in trying to sell uh, your house. But, uh, but no matter what, I mean, there are places where it could be placed, right? Definitely. You would have an alternative and say, why well, don't you just put not, it here? It's just not us. I mean, SUNY's right. got a, tons of property. Right, right. Um, and had they come to talk to anybody, hedge us, prior to moving forward with this yeah. thing, because this had been decided last year. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look at the fine print on the... On the blueprints, uh, the technical design was done in February. Well, we found out about it in June. Right. And so how far advanced has this become? When do they, uh, okay, so that was my question. How far advanced has this become? When do they plan on, on I received I received a uh, phone call a week ago today from a Dan Brown, vice president of facilities at SUNY Poly Albany, saying, I guess you have some concerns. We need to talk. All right. Well, that's a positive then? Uh, I, I, I would treat it more than some concerns. Yeah, yeah. Um, Senator so Griffo, I left, I left yep. messages Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, haven't heard back, asked him if we could do the meeting here. Yeah. Since there's probably a larger group of us that really Not need to, mention, to be there. You, you could go out to the site. And that's my main thing. Yeah. I, too many times they, they see SUNY Poly has a Utica address. Right. Um, they misinterpret where it actually is. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'd like to have whoever it is to come out and see the site to yep. say, this okay. is what you're planning. So, yeah, and your complaint uh, would be far better uh, if they could see it for themselves Absolutely. to see, yeah, your complaint is legitimate here. And also, too, you mentioned, I think, an important part is that you contacted somebody from Albany. Is there anybody that you've been able to contact that's in charge that is actually in Utica or at, at the campus in Mercy? No. Uh, you also spoke with the, the Assemblyman uh, Brindisi and Senator Joe Griffo? No. Um, the letter that you have in front of you, I gave okay. you a copy, came from their staff. Mm -hmm. um, and, and as you read it, it, it says my concerns, his concerns. Well, it's it's more than just... Right, concerns. Our con well, or it says town supervisor concerns. I mean, this has to do with the whole region. This isn't right. Our building that's going up, and it says, "Please let us know so our staff can be present in, in, when you schedule a meeting." I would hope something of this important nature that the assemblyman and the senator themselves yeah, yeah. would want to be at this meeting. We have heard nothing from the county. So why uh, why do you think that is? What um, why are they laying low on uh, on this? I don't know. I hope they're not happy that this is going to be built there, right? Um, right. Because then. It makes that much more difficulty to market the nano site. Sure, um, Mock Valley Edge is quite upset about this being done. No one has ever; they didn't even contact Edge, right? Right. Who is marketing this four hundred acre site? Um, so, to answer your your question, it's a good. I have no idea. Uh, you think they would be jumping up and yeah, down, yeah. screaming uh, more than me? Are we also afraid that if uh, we get in the way of what uh, Albany has planned, that we could lose money, we could lose funding, we could we could lose a project? Well, that's my my concern. Yeah, yeah. Um, my concern is because uh, you would expect to see both of these guys out very, very, uh, very aggressively on this. There's only a handful of us that have been involved at this mm -hmm. when Pataki made the original ninth announcement in '99. Uh, so there's only a handful of us have been through this whole process right, to get the right. site where it is today. Had AMS come in and seen this built, they would have turned around and left and not even saying they were going to yeah. come. Uh, Manaski. 
I got the impression, and I could be wrong on this, it's just my memory, from Steve DeMio being on the show, that he wasn't as concerned about it. Did you uh, gather that as well? I, I, he, I, to me, if I remember this correctly, he kind of shrugged it off and said maybe it wasn't ideal, but they were still moving forward. And um, your thoughts on that? You, you, you said you've spoken to the folks at Edge, and they're quite upset about this. They're, we've spoken to their attorney. Okay. Because our, right. whole, our whole thing is that if we have to, we'll, we'll go to court on this. All right, so you will okay. So you will take this. To, well, when uh, when is this it. set to be built? When is this set to break ground? You don't have an answer. I, yeah, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. yeah. All they've, right. They've uh, bypassed DEC, and there's a secret process that has to be done. So, because any social, sure. economic impact that's going to affect uh, has to be discussed, and how you're going to mitigate it. So. All right. I know that the uh, there were vacations and uh, everything when we uh, when we did. I, I'm pretty sure we did uh, speak to uh, to Edge about it. But uh, we'll reach out again to Griffo and Brindisi and see if we can get some answers on this. Yeah. Make sure you say hi for me. I will. I I'll be the inter <laughs> the intermediary. Uh, I also really you. quickly want to want to add that I have tried to reach out to Fort Schuyler Management and get their explanation of it and uh, nothing. nothing. All right, we'll get to it. Uh, Brian, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Brian Appreciate Scala, it much. Uh, Town of Marcy, 729. By the way, we keep hearing about a bob Bobcat. Any uh, any thoughts of that? Oh, those are great. When I used to uh, be at the county, uh, we had the Cadillac. About, they run about 90000 Oh, I'm the, uh, the, the, so. the all-steer, st- all all-wheel. You, you <laughs> oh, could, that's what you, I had. You it could was, turn on a dime. Yes. This thing, it, it tracks and the whole. Plug this, and play. We used to yeah. have like about eight different attachments. Oh, they're, yeah. They're you, amazing. This thing that I, I had over the weekend probably cost that. It was beautiful. But I'm talking about a real four-legged bobcat. Any idea? Any? Uh, would you? Uh, We've got uh, someone what, saying that there's been a couple there, bobcat spot, sightings. Spotting sightings. Real bobcats. Uh, my wife saw one when we were driving, crossing the road one time, and I said, "No, that's a large, large dog." She goes, "Uh, uh-uh. uh, it's either a cougar or a bobcat or something of yeah, that nature." Yeah. And to this day, she swears about it. And uh, I mean, I saw the shadow of this thing running yeah, in front of the yeah. car over near Lock Twenty. And, uh, hey, you don't want to doubt her. Uh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, good stuff there, Brian. Thanks so much.